Hello, I'm Patricia McNeely. I'm a Blu-ray twin flame from Chicago, Illinois. How are you today? I hope you're doing well. In today's video, I want to talk to you about part of this process. It's only part of multiple things that are happening for people. The first thing I want to say is, please remember this is a process. Cut yourself some slack. Cut other people some slack. We're going to be um, in this while people get up and running and people around you may be slowed down. Watch people's reactions times. Now, if you're in the Northern Hemisphere, you're going to know that we've had some pretty cold weather. And that naturally tends to slow things down, change the routine. you got to call out the snow plows and the salt trucks. Accidents happen. Reaction times are not what they were. You cannot drive on an icy track the same way you do on a dry track. And it's the same thing with your body, okay? When you're trying to speed things up and you're feeling a sense of urgency, like suddenly something's here but you can't put your finger on it, you can't quite make it out what it is, it has to do with the gift, the gift of your twin flame body and the template. But Patricia, is everybody a twin flame? Yes, everybody is being given the gift of the template. Not everyone is integrating it at the same time. So today's topic to talk about is slow down the aging process. Get your energy back. How many of you are feeling like you need your mojo back? You need your energy back. If only you could get your energy and not feel like you always want to lay down or that you're always tired. Now that kind of tags into the season. We have had some January weather in November. So these kind of jumps, I kind of call that time jumping. It's not always fun, but it serves a purpose. And I sometimes get a sense that it does things to leap certain things forward, jump forward, catapult forward. Urgent. It's urgent. But you're not actually in the next season. In fact, it's still coming up here. We're still in the last season. But what happens when there's less light your appetite changes, your diurnal rhythms are messed up, okay, or they're off, or they're just a tad off, okay, and you're not quite feeling the same. Well, that affects your energy level. So how do you get your energy back? How do you get out of the low karmic energy and the things that drag you down the draggy things from the past, other people's addictions, how people have, you know, drank or smoked or somehow have um, affected you, maybe affected your birth or your early childhood. What's happening deep inside in memories that you didn't even know you had because you're just feeling it as a feeling? So you're feeling this as a feeling you're feeling the tedium, you're feeling tedious soulmates, you're feeling like some of the soulmates, it's just, they're just cluttering up the landscape. Nobody likes to feel that way. Nobody likes to feel that about their children or their parents that somehow they interfere with what you're really here for. And yet, they're still a part of our lives. You interact with them, you go to work with different people, with colleagues, with friends, or you're missing them, or you want them. You want to have a full life, okay? And yet, you're in this tired energy, and I get it. It's pretty doggone tiring. What about the routines, okay? Do you just feel like you're stuck in a rut and like it's the same routine, it's the same routine, and it's the same routine? So I don't always want to talk about negative stuff here. Some people are kind of popping up, and they are having some breaks in the routines. 
but some people aren't sure what is going on. So sometimes when something changes for you, are you seeing what your next steps are? Are you getting guidance on it? Are you running to the internet and trying to look at this video and that video and that video and that video and that reading without paying attention to your own body? Because the really top level guidance is going to come through you, not from outside you, because it has to be specific to you. Although you're part of a collective, you're not a cookie cutter person. And I know that sounds all, you know, kind of fluffy, like, you're a special little snowflake. Well, damn it, yes, you are. And so you need specific guidance for you, for you and your other half. Because like it or not, you have another half. And you're, you know, bringing yourselves in and kind of like lining this up and, you know, coming into sync. And you may not even know how it looks. You're just getting messages and songs and lyrics and numbers and, you know, you're driving and you see a license plate and you're like, what does that mean? What, but what, what, what it, does that telling me what they're doing on the other end? Okay. What else with some of this slowing down and karmic energy? Your reflexes. I don't know if you saw what I did there, but I caught that in midair. Yeah. <sighs> Can't do that every time because if I am in some of that kind of energy, you're going to be klutzy and clumsy. Sometimes you're just klutzy and clumsy. Who is going to give a reading on why are you klutzy and clumsy? Me. Okay. Not only that, we do a session because it has to do with your spirit subtle body. Routines, sexual connections. Let me give you an example of this. Have you ever known people that they can only do it a certain way in a certain circumstance and they can always only get where they need to climax by doing certain things. They're kind of stuck in a rut with it. They know it always works, but it's their go-to thing. You might live with someone like that. You might be married to someone like that. They always have to have it this way or, you know, whatever. And that's where some of this stuff gets stuck. How do you unclick yourself from that? You have to do it through your body. You have to do it with clearing your own sexual energies from lifetimes. And that's something that uh, can feel a bit like a Kundalini rush. But that's a passive way of doing it. Being proactive builds in with that urgency to get you where you need to be and get your energy back. What about what I call unripened or unseasoned men or women. They are immature. They don't really behave like children, but they're a bit juvenile in the sense that they're unformed, they're unripe, they're unseasoned. They do things like a juvenile would. They do things like a middle schooler would. Their approach to relationships is they, they can't take responsibility, they can't take actions. They overreact, okay? And again, this is a part of the aging process because these things will actually age a person a lot quicker. And maybe they use other coping mechanisms. Do they drink, they drug, they smoke? Is that their way of handling things, handling it? I'm going to handle it. Well, how are you handling it? Well, it's the weekend coming up. I'm going to get my drink on. Yeah, people do. People go out and troll places and look for someone to hook up with. People keep a list of phone numbers and say, oh, I got someone to hook up with. If this doesn't work out, I'll call that one. If that one doesn't work out, I'll call that one. Maybe you're one of those people. Maybe you're not a victim, but maybe you're on the receiving end of someone's immature, unripened, unseasoned masculine. That's not divine masculine. That is not divine masculine, by the way. Being spiritually abused, Someone telling you you're crazy because you confront them with something. Someone uh, being condescending towards you. Someone being contemptuous of you. And there's plenty of men that are contemptuous of women just as much as there are women who are contemptuous of men. You may like being, you know, sexual with someone, but once everything's out of the bedroom, it just goes downhill. What's that all about? 
Well, it has to do with your higher energies are not going to come into low karmic experiences or places or people. Your higher energy is not going to suddenly light that person up and it's going to go south so quickly it makes everybody's head spin. You might fall into an argument. You don't even know where it came from. You say it's, it's white. They say it's black. You say, okay, it's black. And they say, no, it's white. And they get all contrary on you. Now, these are relationship patterns. And unfortunately, they stick around people's heads. They stick in the head. They stay there. You hear it, you play out the scenes for hours to come, or you play out the scene and you write scripts ahead of time. If they text me, I'm going to do this, and you've written 10 scripts. If this happens, then I'll do that. If they come and apologize, then I will do this. If they say this, I'll do that. That's dualistic. That's duality for you. And then we might know which buttons to push and how it all works, but it doesn't work anymore. Because your higher self is not going to support it. Make love, not apologies. You can't apologize and then keep delving into these, these realms here. The stomach. These things nut up people's stomachs like this. Why? Because they don't really want that in their life. And everything in you is doing this. Like, okay, let's keep it at bay. Or let's not let this devolve into some, yeah, stomach. Pay attention to your body because these will age you faster and faster than you even realize unless you focus on getting your energy back. So I have a couple of things. Uh, I do have my spirit subtle body session that I offered to people. The description is below, but it is for people that suffer from uh, some type of abuse or have addictions or are the on the receiving end of addictions, how do you know? You feel like you can't breathe. You feel like you're getting someone else's hangover. It's on. And it doesn't matter if it's from this life or past life. It's going to age you and slow you down. Have a session. Get it moving. Is it something more traumatic or phobia? Try the Psyche Subtle Body Session. I do these in person, in my studio, or over the internet. I also have a class. It is part three of my class on relationships and health. It is Sunday, Sunday morning here in Chicago. It is an online class. This week we are talking about a lot of people's favorite subject, sacred love, sacred sexuality. The differences, what it is, what it isn't. Don't worry if you haven't experienced it or if you're not quite sure. Don't worry about that. Come, learn, feel, be proactive, invest in yourself. Yeah, there's an energetic exchange, which means that these cost money. But what I can tell you is aging costs a lot more. Not everyone has full coverage for all of the aging. Even whatever country you live in, Going to the doctor and going with a chronic issue or chronic fatigue or fibromyalgia or IBS or any of these other things that your brand new twin flame body wants to help you heal and get these things in place. Get your spirit subtle body fixed and in place. Get your psyche subtle body fixed and in place. This is responsible for the deepest passion that you can possibly feel with your twin flame. If you don't get all of the war and all of the traumas and phobias out, you're going to be lost in this for a little time to come. Focus on getting it out so you can lighten up. Get out the heaviness of the past. Get to feeling the passion. It's, that is what twin flames do. Mission, that is the byproduct of feeling your love. How does your love express in the world? So get out of the tedium, come and join, learn about this. If you're just joining for part three, you get parts one and two. Part one is um, talking about um, the body and, you know, what some of this is and yourself. Part two has to do with family, children, friends, 
how they can affect you, and some to-do things to shift your outer relationships. Part three, that's this one, sacred love. That's what we're going to be um, learning about. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day. The links are in the description below. Check it out because love heals. Thanks so much, and you're not crazy. Bye.